Hi, Sharon Danley here with another two minute wardrobe tip. This week it's still a few more things to think about, focus on and ponder uh, while we get ready to start really going through our wardrobes. Probably already aware of this, but I think it's important for me to mention it. The most important look that you can have that will give you the most bang for your buck and where you always look your best is a classic, conservative, timeless, chic look. Less is more approach in the amount of clothing you have, the same with your accessories, shoes, jewelry, bags, all that sort of thing. And remember, a classic conservative look doesn't need to be dowdy or out of out of fashion at all. It means keeping up with fashion without getting caught up in the trends. You need to have things that look good for your body frame. As an example, the current trend in 2016 is to wear sleeveless dresses. Well, that's great for those up to about 35 or 40, depending on a number of factors. But after that, it just doesn't look great. Helen Mirren at the uh, Golden Globes, I think it was this year, she was not one who went without sleeves. She had a three-quarter length sleeve that fitted and a long fitted dress with a beautiful heart-shaped front and a bugle uh, skirt at the bottom. Classic, timeless, that could have come out of the 50s, out of the 40s, even out of the 20s. And it will probably come out of the next 50s. It's just something that suits her, suits her aging body and skin, yet still looks elegant. And that's the approach we want to take in everyday life. For those still working, you know that in classic businesses like accounting, banking, uh, law, medicine, government, you know, a classic conservative look is best. If you're in the media in any way, shape, or form, then you want to get a little bit more fashion forward, but fashion forward in a way that suits you and your figure type. The thing that's important to mention here is accessories. One, eyewear. Whatever your hair color is, I think that having your glass frames along the same color as your hairline is probably better. Example for those of us in this age group, um, having a darker gray frame will give you a little bit more weight around your eyes. But I would highly recommend not going for different colored frames or patterns in frames because what that does is detracts, it creates confusion in focus. You've got different colors or shades in your hair, then you put it in the glasses, and if you happen to wear a print top or something, then that confuses the eye further. So keep it clean and keep it simple. And for those with gray hair and who have lost the uh, weight uh, in your lashes and your brows and that sort of thing and your coloring has changed and you become with no makeup you you know you can't tell the difference between your own face and your hair well that's where you can use glass frames something like what I have on now frames that have um, some weight to them so it brings the weight back to the eyes but keeping it simple and keeping a frame shape that suits your face is best now as far as shoes and bags are concerned we all know that in the last 10, maybe 15 years, the push on the love affair with excess in shoes has just been pushed to the limit. And here's something to think about with respect to a casual look. When you're casual without some organization and thought put into it, you give the message that you don't care. And if you're in business, that's not something that you want to send out to people. And it can also focus on a, an individual's gender rather than their strengths and their skills. So that's something to keep in mind too. Comfort is the thing to keep in mind. And it's a misconception that comfort equals casual attire. Doesn't matter what you're wearing, whether it's for a red carpet event or it's to be doing gardening. You want clothes that are comfortable, yet when they're casual, they can still look great. 
They can still have a theme. They can have a color theme to them. They can be whatever you want, but know what it is you want rather than just throwing on a, you know, a couple of pieces together and hoping that it turns out okay. Because often that's not the case. When suitable outfits fit right and look good, along with projecting the right image for you. They create physical ease and a positive attitude for their wearer and their audience. And once you've determined what your business or retirement guidelines are, it's important to define your personal style. Allow for a variety so that all aspects of your personality can be reflected when desired and suitable. Your total look can radiate strength, softness, and elegance, and can be relaxed and chic at the same time. The choice is yours. Well, that's it for this week. Some more things to think about and ponder when you're looking at and thinking about your wardrobe and how you're going to redesign it and organize it and have it work for you rather than again ya, if that's what's happening with you. Anyway, stuff to think about again this week and make notes and if you have any questions, you know where to get in touch with me. We'll see you next time.